5,100 pounds, basically on the nose as you see it here today. The 233S triple hybrid pop-out roux with big deep U-Dinette slide. Coming in for another season here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And with the various product updates, not just the exterior graphics, but the full interior facelift compared to the previous generation, I think, I think folks are going to see that Rockwood really was listening. What's cool about this is it's very travel stop friendly. The only thing you're going to lose with the slide closed and the beds closed is just access to the TV. Now what I like about this, you need to get in here and pack up, you can. Or let's say you're going to make an overnight travel stop. You can open the front bed, you can open the rear bed without deviating from your parking space. And instead of using the side bed, you can utilize the sleeper dinette like we saw previously. So that you can, again, maintain that full family sleeping travel access and function. It, it, it nails it. This is, oh my god, this is the best Rockwood yet. Now as long as we have everything kind of folded down into travel position, let's just roll with it and take a look at our sleeping spaces real fast. Starting back again over here with that big like adult size, seven foot long, almost four feet deep dinette. Very, very handy, uh, you know, if you've got bigger folks, or again, for that travel sleeper stop. Not to be outdone though, this is a rollover sleeper sofa as opposed to a jackknife sofa. And where that provides an important distinction is a rollover sofa has that extra support leg. So bigger people can sleep on that as well without worried about, you know, weight overloading it. Now, all three beds, the side, the front, the rear, will be 60 by 80 true queens. They are rated at, and it, I tell you what, pause the video real quick right after this. I'll give you five seconds. How much do you think these bed ends are rated for? Ready? Go. Well, the short answer is 1,050 pounds. They are rated for so much weight, it's crazy. So if the kids are all jazzed up on the Mountain Dew and marshmallows, you know, well, if they're bouncing around on these things, they're not going to be inclined to break it. Now up top, you'll see that all three beds have that combo light fan to help keep airflow moving. And of course, all the, the bed end panels can zip down, those side panels, that end panel can zip down for awesome cross breeze airflow, not to mention views and visibility. You can see like everywhere around this when everything's open. But uh, additionally, up top there, you see this handy little kind of duffel bag cargo hanger. It's got the little pockets down on the end uh, all the way near the far wall. And once or twice, I called that thing, as a joke, a baby hammock. And Mr. David Weidman, regular Halet RV viewer, commenter, and super fan, uh, a gentleman with whom I enjoy, I've grown to enjoy speaking very greatly, has never let me forget that I called it a baby hammock. So to you, David, I dedicate the baby hammock Rockwood bed ends. Anyway, uh, additionally, on uh, all three bed ends, you'll find some handy power outlets nearby, and there's a whole host of benefits to that. Obviously, you could charge your phones or fans or whatever, but it's because all three bed ends are also heated. That's your little hand controller there. All three bed ends have their own, so that if you want to try to stay a little more comfortable at night, you can. And I don't know if you've ever taken a wilderness survival class. I'm no Davy Crockett or anything, but I, I did grow up with dirt on my boots, and uh, you know I didn't become a goofy tech nerd until I got older. Uh, long story short, if you're going to be, you know, like sleeping outdoors, it's actually better to put like leaves and, and, and insulation and things below you, not above you to maintain a better cabin temperature or a better body temperature. That's kind of the same thing right there. You've got a laminated bed deck to help you regulate your body temperature and a heated bed end in case it gets a little chilly. Since really the only thing between you and the great outdoors is a five layer composite fancy kind of sheet that we call a bed end. So... There you have it. Now you know the rest of the story. But enough of that. Let's get to our daytime function here. And that's that's really where this one excels. Because you're towing such a small box, but you get so much room when you get there. That free-floating elliptical base table can slide up out of the way. You've got those big cross-breeze windows, max size windows, all of which open for airflow all around the dinette. Not to mention, uh, we already talked about kind of the airflow panels on uh, all around all three beds. Plus, you have a cross breeze window there. And don't forget the screen door can get in on the cross breeze action. Uh, cross breeze? I don't even know what that word is. Cross breeze action. <whistles> cross breeze action! I think there was a song like that. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, my point is... <laughs> 
you've got awesome light and airflow through this entire thing. Speaking of which, you will see that uh, another one of these in the bathroom. Rockwood Roos are really cool in that they come with two of those extra large Max Air vent fans. And they have the uh, roof rain cover built right onto them from the factory level. But <laughs> there's yet another, like, we, we've looked at, uh, what, travel mode? We've looked at, uh, you know, sleeper mode. Now we've seen daytime mode. Now let's look at storage mode here. This thing goes through like four phases, lickety split. Starting back over here with the dinette, both dinette bench ends have drawers for easy access. Now I would say you could flip this table up out of the way to get to the rear bench storage. And you still can, you're very capable of doing that. But you don't have to, and you'll see why when we get outside. Rockwood actually gives us an outside cargo access door to the rear dinette bench. Now, um, I'll kind of mention it again later, but uh, any little nook and cranny they can, Rockwood's put some storage. Since hybrids don't have full, like, uh, you know, underbed areas to create pass-through storage, they did utilize every little shelf and space they could. Now, the space below the sofa over here is actually accessible from inside or outside. You will see that outdoors as well. As we work our way up top here, I do want to uh, take a note to mention that these are all hardwood cabinet door frames and uh, pocket screwed cabinetry. You may also notice that Rockwood has uh, updated to uh, hidden hinges on these. And one of the reasons I like that is if you're going down the road and this you hit a really rough jarring bump, a hidden hinge will try to keep itself shut. It will try to make sure that cargo doesn't come flying out of there. So as you can see, there is a full viewing window in the entry door, which is just really nice. And this lighter, brighter color palette, I am so thankful to finally see this. I, I loved when Rockwood had that light maple generation. And when they went to the dark maple last year, I was really, I was sad because the, uh, the, the lighter color palette in a hybrid like this, I thought it just really lent itself. And, and generally speaking, I like the lighter non-oppressive colors a little bit more anyway. Now, under the entertainment center here, this is kind of a relic. This floor plan's been around for so long. That drawbridge thing that folds down, that used to be where, like, all your TV hookups and stuff were. But since everything is kind of updated a little bit, the entertainment center has become a little more cleaner and minimal. The TV can pivot, as you can see. The TV can uh, dislodge and be mounted outside. The entire swing arm actually disconnects, which is cool. Up top, Rockwood's one of the few brands still giving us a DVD player. Most brands have just gone to Bluetooth stereo, and this is Bluetooth and stereo, and it still has HDMI, but they are giving us uh, DVD still as well. We'll come back and talk about fridge stuff in just a second. Right now, though, I want to focus on the storage before I say, uh, you know, see something shiny and lose my train of thought, watch it go off the rails. Again, below all three beds, there's like, I call it like duffel bag storage, but over here in the kitchen, it, you know, hybrids are not nude, uh, nude, oh, it is hot, I am not caffeinated, it is showing. Hybrids are not known for good kitchen storage. There we go, I finally got it out. But you can see dedicated pantry, big overhead cabinet space, uh, you know, silverware utensil organizer drawer, bonus drawer below a larger 22 inch oven, so you can actually do some real baking in there if you are interested, by the way. It's all those little things that always separate Rockwoods and kind of just, they just, it puts them ahead of their class, I think. They're just, it's just, they're very good at those extra details. Now I'll close back up so you don't see, you know, it doesn't look like a bomb went off here. Let's start talking the various equipment and tech packages here. Starting right up top, this is a very easy to miss update. Rockwood has basically integrated an invisible version of the LCI One Control system. So if you download the uh, One Control app on your phone and uh, you uh, you know flip open your camera and then you um, scan that little QR code up top here, it will uh, basically you know you can hold your phone up. It will to the camera there. It will sync that little QR code and it will connect your phone to this control pad. So off the control pad, if you want to run any of these things, including stuff like the optional tank heaters we like to apply here at Halid RV, you can do so. Uh, we are still Wi-Fi Ranger equipped, by the way, which is a signal access uh, uh, router, basically, built into the thing, although it does have the ability to have an LTE upgrade if you don't have good, reliable park Wi-Fi, which my experience has been... Uh, have you ever noticed how park Wi-Fi is about as good as the park's driveway? Those two things shouldn't have anything to do with one another. But have you noticed that park Wi-Fi and a park's driveway always seem to go hand in hand? Good driveway means good Wi-Fi. You might notice, too, 
no floor vents. That's just another handy thing. If you're walking in with sandy feet, you won't see that in here. Now I said we come back and talk refrigerators. This is the standard two-way gas electric refrigerator. It is eight cubic feet right here. You have the ability. Uh, it's, it's basically one combo package option and we'll be doing some of it at Halet RV. So I'd be really curious, uh, give me some feedback. What, which way would you like to go here? You have the standard eight cubic foot two-way fridge freezer, but there's also the option for a nearly 11 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge that includes a 190 watt roof solar package and inverter to run several of the interior outlets. It varies by floor plan. I can't tell you by floor plan until I see them exactly, which, well, until I see it with the inverter because Rockwood will mark them. Uh, I don't know exactly which outlets will be uh, inverter prepped. So kind of keep that in mind. Would you, you know, save a few bucks uh, and uh, I say, I'm going to shoot from the hip. I'm going to say, what if you could save 400 bucks and stick with the eight cubic foot two way? Or is the extra money worth the 12 volt fridge, the roof solar panel and the inverter? Let me know. I'd be very curious. Now I want to make sure that we're stocking the right thing for you at Halet RV. Um, down here, this is another one of those relics of years past. There's a second TV hookup down here so that if you want separate entertainment in the back, you can. And there's even a backer installed right here to be able to install that. Now, obviously, right behind that is the refrigerator. Do not use four inch lag screws to mount something to the wall right there. You will bust your fridge and that is not covered under warranty nor insurance. Um, give you just a quick look at like we've already kind of seen the bed ends from the front but just to let you peek around all three so that you can see they are all treated the same and again there's you know outlets like back in that corner there's always going to be outlets and USB plugs near all three bed ends our thermostat is located on this wall here and if you do go with the solar option uh, this is where the charge controller would be located now the RV is roof solar prepped and the wiring is run in the wall right here. So if you choose to build your own solar package, like this RV doesn't have solar on it, it's solar ready. You wanna build your own or have us do it for you at Halet RV, cause we can do any of that. Uh, th that's where everything would go. That's where the wiring is located. Now you can see how the door is slotted up top. That is by intention because this has, again, the larger style vent fan to give you some superior airflow in here. And if, uh, you know, you've had a family taco Tuesday <clears throat> and uh, everyone's using the bathroom. You're going to want to make sure that uh, that fan's doing its job. We'll just simply say that. Little tip from your Uncle Josh, the RV nerd. But um, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, little touches too, like Rockwood's using a bigger sink. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this. I don't want to forget this. You notice over here, this is that sealed edge thermal foil kind of, uh, you know, uh, waterproof type countertop stuff with that recessed sink and set. I, I just want to make sure I point that out before I, I lost track of myself. A big sink over here with that kind of shelf above for your little, um, you know, toothbrushes and all that stuff. The uh, medicine cabinet, pretty standard fare there, but a nice big radius corner shower. And since this is a laminated roof with an aluminum structure, it doesn't have wood studs every so many inches on center. You can, if we, this is uh, a magnet catch on this, by the way. Like, you notice how I don't have the uh, the latch on here, but they still hold together. So that when you're inside the shower, the door doesn't like roll itself open. That little magnet does you a good job in there. But what I was getting at is since uh, the roof structure is the way that it is, they can mount that skylight at this weird like 45 degree angle because that's exactly where you're going to be standing in the shower and that will give you headroom in conjunction with the many vaulted ceiling. I haven't really talked about, but the ceiling does have a small vault to it. And Rockwood doing Rockwood things, even their showers have extra treatments. Like you've got the shower, uh, you know, soap and body wash caddy up there. Um, I've been told you could use that for shower beers, but to each their own. The shower miser system originally found in just the GeoPro, now found everywhere. Uh, I mean, there's just, there's just not much this thing doesn't do. They've they swapped up from a uh, plastic toilet to a porcelain. Uh, I, I, I'm just taking a pass to see if I've missed anything, but there's so much to cover here. There's so much to cover. Well, one thing I did miss, central air in this small little hybrid camper. That will help it cool more evenly. And you notice how it's got double AC runs to distribute the air even more evenly. And you can turn and close every one of these vents if you want to so that you can fully control the air. Again, the stuff everyone else doesn't, Rockwood does. 
Now right away outside I also want to mention the exterior could look drastically different than this. It's possible we would have one with the standard exterior skin which is a champagne kind of darker color here at Halo RV. However, considering this is a hybrid and because of the presence of those bed ends it doesn't do as good of a job keeping that air conditioner air nice and chilly inside the RV. We will probably have nine out of ten of these at our facility here in the uh, you know white and graphite exterior package like you're looking at here. Uh, right now you're looking at the slide awning that's optional that we like to apply to these. Rockwood makes it so inexpensive to do it's almost silly not to do it. Um, if you peek way at the top you can see the tip of that Max Air vent cover sticking over that uh, kind of living room, dinette, front bed, shared space fan. Remember that you have one of those big fans in both the living room and the bathroom of every Rockwood Roo. They have two fans in their hybrids, whereas many brands only have, uh, well, most other Rockwoods only have one standard with the ability to add others as options. Now, a Roo and a Mini Light, if you weren't aware, uh, the, the Rockwood non-hybrid little camper, they're basically the exact same camper from an equipment standpoint. The only main difference out here is just that this has 20 pound tanks instead of 30s, because 30 pound tanks would be too tall and they would hit the bottom of that bed. Um, a lot of brands have done this now, though, uh, who, who still build hybrids. Many producers have pulled out of the market, I think, just because Rockwood has crushed them in this market. But everything is all one key. This is the same key as our main entry door now, which is, it's just really nice that you don't need to have, like, uh, you know, a whole bunch of these things jingling around on your belt or in your pocket with your loose change, you know. And the handle's down here where you can reach it instead of way up here, where even a tall person like me, I struggle to get to it. But if I had to, if I had to, I could make it work. Um, uh, all of our exterior baggage doors, pretty much in any Rockwood, are all magnet holdbacks, which is nice. And this is something that we talked about inside. We'll get in here out of the direct sunlight, and you can see the uh, underside and backside of the u dinette and that all aluminum structure I was telling you about. Everything is welded, everything's aluminum caged. Basically, anything that Rockwood builds, they build with an aluminum skeleton. So instead of having to disassemble the dinette to get to it, they give you a handy baggage door to be able to reach it, which is just a handy, you know, simple feature. Rockwood has adopted something Jayco's been doing for a few years, and I think a lot of people are going to be glad to see it. I saw more feedback on tires and Rockwoods than any other brand, probably because Rockwood is such a premium variety of trailer that it, it only feels natural that they are now riding on Goodyear Endurance radials with that 87 mile an hour rating, uh, although I hope you're never towing that fast if you can help it. Um, additionally, one of the cool things on these is that uh, Rockwood includes a tire pressure monitoring system with all their RVs, a Geo, a Roo, a Mini, Ultra, Signature, Trailer, Fifth Wheel, doesn't matter. It, it's just, and what I like about it is it's also a standalone device, so it's one less app you have to have on your phone. Now, if I get down here, one of the things that you won't see is a leaf spring shackle suspension system. You have four wheel independent torsion axles and suspension. If you don't know what that means, in English, this is one of the most expensive suspension systems available in the towable RV industry. However, it's also, arguably, one of the best. To give you an idea, big horse trailers, trailers that have living animals in the back, that's the kind of suspension they use. Airstream adopted Rockwood suspension, that dual torsion axle independent wheel suspension system, because it's one of the best riding, smoothest handling things out there. One of the main differences is that it, it handles stress and turns differently. So like if you go around one of those really sharp curly Q corner exits on the highway, you know what I mean, the ones that make you motion sick half the time, me anyway, these will, uh, it will actively fight the, uh, most, most RVs will try to lean and pull you off the road. This will try to stay flat and true so that you go around the corner like it's on rails. You can see that outside shower hookup station right there, well outside shower station right above the sewer hookups as it were. Still full tubular bumper on here so you have a handy place to put the stinky slinky which is very very handy in a hybrid camper that otherwise has quite limited exterior storage since there's no full time bed to really stuff cargo under. We are backup camera ready. You can see the rear Max Air vent fan on top of that fully walkable roof up there. And I said they don't have, you know, beds for storage, but they do have shelves to the beds for storage space. 
let me kind of get you in here to look around a little bit. It's not the biggest storage space in the world, but it's something. They don't waste it. I love how the spare tire has that hard shell cover to help keep that protected from the weather. And a receiver hitch standard on the back of things like roos and mini lights so that you have a very handy place to put, you know, a bike rack without having to weld stuff onto your uh, uh, bumper or your structure, which could, you know, ne negatively affect your warranty stage, uh, status there. So uh, over here, Rockwood adopted this last year. They went away from the old RVQ grill and they went to one of these um, uh, Sunbeam Elite griddles, which is an outsourced Blackstone. It's not, I'm not saying it's a Blackstone, it's an outsourced Blackstone. It is actually Blackstone's prints that produce these. Different company produces them in different facilities. But what's kind of cool, if you take a look here, you can see you don't have to have it on that bracket. Now, I put it up here on this shelf just to kind of give you a, a quick handy look at that, but you don't have to leave it there. If you have a separate table, as long as you have a, a, a propane line long enough to reach to the propane quick connect, where that little white uh, kind of flag is right down there, you can put it pretty much wherever you want. Your TV inside is designed to dismount and hook up onto that bracket up there, the whole swing arm and everything. So that if you want a really cool kind of exterior, uh, you know, uh, hangout kind of tailgate station, you've got a really good one over here. We've already talked about the tires, the more ride stable steps are something Rockwood's been doing standard for a few years. And uh, we've got a storage pocket below the sofa. It has an access door from the inside, but we haven't really seen it out here. In here right now are things like our jack cranks and, and little odds and ends like that. You know, again, any hybrid, every little piece of storage space matters. So this has roof solar prep on it, standard. There's optional solar packages. We already talked about that when we referenced the 12 volt refrigerator option that you have with the eight cubic foot two-way fridge that you saw in this being the standard. We will probably have some both ways here at Halo RV through the year. So always double check because this video may not represent 100% of every single 233S that we ever have here at Halo RV. Just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and you may have noticed a simple side mount solar prep plug right next to that gas and electric 17.8 gallon fast recharge per hour water heater. It's a six gallon vessel. You can run gas and electric at the same time to get you there. So, whew, all that being said, what have we not talked about? Oh, oh, here, here's a good one. Let me get you over here and take a look. Because, abra, you know, abracadabra alkazam, we got ourselves a max length awning, man, with power lighting, tilt adjust arms, all kinds of good stuff. It only, does everything a hybrid I think could possibly do. So give us a call here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, or everything in between. We sure appreciate you watching, folks. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date on the new things that come out. And do me a favor, something I would really appreciate. Leave us a comment. Tell me what is your favorite part of this RV and what would you change? Because believe it or not, that feedback really goes a long way to helping the manufacturers. Oh my gosh, something I didn't mention, 12 volt tank heaters on these. That's an option that we like to apply on these pretty much whenever we can. So keep that in mind too. It's another thing you can't see, but we do for you here at Halet RV. So once again, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping everyone.